Hey guys, Brian here. Welcome back to the shop. Today it's moving day. It's time to get the Carlson radial arm drill off the trailer. So it's time to get after it, pulling this chain. I may have to get the ladder and go up there and put the slow chain on it for me to be able to pick, pick it up. I don't know how close it's going to be. Uh, it's probably going to be all I can pull. So i probably have to get up there and do that. But we'll just see how it goes. I'll try it without it first. But uh, show you how I've done this. This is similar to how they had it slung when we put it on here. I've got to, everything's run clear of all the brackets and wires. You want to be sure that you're not pinching anything when you're picking up. You've got a clevis tying those two straps together. Same thing on the front, got one tying them off. Around here on this side, we're good and not up against anything. It's off the elevation screw. And just got it strapped all the way around the arm there. And it's tied together with clevis also. So, I guess I'm gonna get to yanking on this thing and see if I can get it up. I might put the other chain on it, I think. Suckers for sure heavy.
buy some gloves for this. Got to be kidding me. Well, to say I'm devastated, probably an understatement. That was a total fuck up. Show you the carnage. Cracked concrete multiple places. Crack there, crack here. Got a hairline crack running up through here. So, didn't do it any good. Uh, this part of it looks okay. There's the culprit. And I knew I should have probably replaced that cable, but it didn't do it. And now it's cost me. Cost a big time. Yep. Should have replaced the cable. Wasn't actually frayed there either, so. But with it wound up that tight, it's pulling sideways pretty good on it there. Probably doesn't help. I guess it's better on this cheap drill than on my uh, horizontal boring mill, that's the only saving grace on about this, but it broke the casting back here. Motor's ready to fall off, only thing holding on is that shaft, really. So, put a sling there to help hold it so it won't just fall and hit the floor and tear it up some more. 
So I'm just caught on this shaft here too. So it looks like it would be quite a bit of work to fix. Not undoable, but not super easy either. I have to take a look at the parts books and see what this looks like. I'm surprised that motor was heavy enough to bust that when it come down, but uh, obviously it was. I would have thought this side over here with that big heavy gearbox on it would have been the side to give it up. But honestly, I never expected to drop on these from two foot high. So, not good. Not good at all. Probably one of the worst days I've had in the shop ever. I've ever destroyed this much at one time. All for probably a couple hundred dollars worth of cable. Maybe a thousand dollars, I don't know. But, I just need to measure it up and go see about ordering some. Get that fixed, otherwise the brake and everything was working good on the hoist, so. I can't complain about that. Wouldn't make any noise or anything. So that's it for this episode of how to destroy your shop. Uh, take something nice and really fudge it all up. So that's what's happened here today. Pretty much like having a mag drill stole. So not good. But uh, just means more work. Catch you later.